A joint media application to record and broadcast the fraud and corruption trial of former Teguini Mayor Azandile Kumete and 21 others will be heard by the Durban High Court today. It's aimed at overturning the order by Judge Shemaine Bolton, which bars the media from publishing recordings and visuals of the case. Kumete and her co-accused are facing charges that include fraud and corruption in connection with the multi-million rand waste removal tender in 2017. For more on this story, we now speak to SABC News uh, reporter Jade Poulter. Jade, good morning. Thank you so much for making time for us. So what motivated this application? Well, a very good morning, Aldrin, and to the viewers back home. And this is going to be a very important um, application that we will, will be hearing. It was brought by uh, ENCA as well as the SABC to overturn um, a ruling by Charmaine uh, Bolton, the judge that's presiding over the Zandile Gumede and 21 others uh, trial here at the Durban High Court to have our cameras as well as our recording devices brought into um, this particular court, into her courtroom. You would know on the 24th of of July, uh, one of the accused, the, um, one of the witnesses that were taken to the stand was apparently unavailable to testify and it came about in court, we heard that this was due to the fact that she was receiving death threats. So the judge presiding over the matter, Charmaine Bolton, then took it upon herself to investigate whether there was threats with the threat of witnesses that would be testifying in this um, mammoth, um, you know, uh, 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 trial. Um, and they find, she found that there were indeed threats. This also prohibited the media to showcase any of the witnesses, to name any of the witnesses, Aldrin, as well as bringing our uh, cameras into court to actually film the proceedings of, of court. Um, she then brought a ruling into the court saying that the media are not allowed to mention any of the names, bring our cameras as well as recording devices. This, is, this made it very difficult for the media to actually record and um, re report on this particular court case. So so where we are today, we are expecting her to give ruling. We, our, our lawyers have been back and forth with Judge Charmaine Bolton to try and find common ground, to try and see if we can meet her halfway with regards to reporting on the matter, bringing our cameras into court, not obviously showcasing or showing the witnesses that are on stand, but actually getting audio from this particular trial. And today we're going to find out if she's going to overturn her judgment. It has been a back and forth with the judge we also told that our lawyers have also tried to to meet common ground with the pr judge president in the province so we're expecting her ruling today whether the media will actually seek a joy in the matter we will have yet to see i am told that, that it is starting right now um Aldrin. so in the next few minutes i'll be able to brief the public with regards to where we are with the zandili committee trial whether the media will be able to name any of the witnesses um as well as the accused when they testify and give more information regarding to this trial it has been ongoing for several years it is in the public interest and many people want to actually find out the nitty-gritties and the information behind the courtroom well let's uh, find out what the judgment said we will says we will be speaking to jade paulson but later on to get an update with regard to that application that has been brought before the court